these are the things you need to do to get a close every time. Number one, you have to find the need, okay? And by finding the need, we're not afraid to ask some tough questions. So I want you guys to grab your pen and I want to write down these questions that you should ask every single time. And what we're doing is this is an emotional sale. So it's almost like with these questions, we want to cut them a little bit. Like, ouch, ouch, that hurts. And then we want to be the Band-Aid with a policy, put it on there. So I'm like, that's okay, I fixed it up for you. We're the Band-Aids, right? So if you're not cutting them a little bit, you're not making some pain, then you're not asking the right question. So here's the first question. You need to ask this every single time. Hey, Grady, so I'm about to ask you some tough questions, but this is some important coverage, okay? So we're, we're going to get serious here for a little bit. But let's just imagine for a second that you died yesterday. Okay, it was a car crash, you had a heart attack, aneurysm in your sleep. You woke up today and you're a ghost, right? You're coming back to your family and you're coming back down, you're looking at them right now and you're like, what's the situation look like for them financially? You're not here today. It's tough. Okay. How, what, how much money are they losing? Uh, probably all of, the, all of the household income. And what are some things that would change for your family if that happened? Would they lose um, the house? Probably, yeah. Okay. Oh, would they be able to pay their bills? No. Okay. Not for, I mean, she'd have to go get a job. Okay. So you're just painting the picture. We got to paint the scene, right? You're not here today. Let's, let's paint it. You're a ghost. What's happening? Okay. Next is, what's your plan for that? What's your plan for that right now? Let's say you died tomorrow. What's your plan do you have in place? What plan do you have to prevent that? I have, a, I have an insurance policy from the bank. The bank's own accidental plan. Yeah, I don't know. It's, they take it out. It's a quarterly. It's like $7. Yeah, so that's accidental. Okay. Okay, so if you had a heart attack, you're out. You got disabled, you're out. Anything else? Uh, and I think I have another uh, whole life from my job. Okay. Work policies we don't consider because they're rental. So if you got cancer tomorrow and you're out of work for three months, then you can't apply for a policy because you have cancer because it's based on health. So we need to protect you not have rental policies. Anything else? No. Okay. Some savings, cars. All right. Now, what do you want to happen? I mean, nothing ideally, you know, like we're to be able to pay off the house or, you know. Like not if, have to move. if you did die, let's say tomorrow, what would you want to happen for your family? Um, them to be sad. Them to be sad. <laughs> them to be sad. So but, this is the twenty percent. You're like, okay, pack up and you just take <laughs> off. Like, like, all right, no. selfish guy. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. This guy's this guy's selfish. He's probably gonna stab no, no, me. Who I says want. that? <laughs> <laughs> I want them to not have to change the the way they're living right now. I'd okay. love for them to be able to be okay. I okay. you know, I don't yeah. So I've so even, basically I've, what we need to do is is replace your income for 5 years so their lifestyle doesn't change. Okay? okay? So that's what we're going to talk about today and uh, let's make sure we can get a solution in place. Now these are all customizable, right? So, you know, if you're not liking the budget, we want to find something to budget, but Let's make sure we have a plan in place so your family can keep the house and lifestyle doesn't change for them. Okay? Okay. That's why we're here today. Okay. That's where it's sold. Okay? Before any prices, before anything else you give out, it's sold with a need. So be okay with asking tough questions.